The Swinging Pendulum Problem We are still with geometric sequence, so last time we defined the geometric sequence. We laid down how to obtain the first n terms of a geometric sequence and we proved the uh, formula to obtain the sum of the first n uh, terms of a geometric sequence. So we will apply that to this problem. This is a swinging pendulum problem. Example 2.16, geometric sequence and the swinging pendulum problem. The first swing of a pendulum sweeps a distance of 12 feet. Each swing that follows is three-fourths of the preceding swing. Find the distance covered by the pendulum on the eighth swing. Find the total distance covered by the pendulum after eight swings. So the swinging pendulum problem is modeled by a geometric sequence. And why is that so? Well, let us show it. So let's say, for example, we have a pendulum, a swinging pendulum. So let's say, for example, this is the starting point, and you will release the pendulum. The problem says the pendulum covered a distance of 12 feet in its uh, first swing. The pendulum will, of course, return, but it will cover a shorter distance. And so in the second swing, it will cover a distance that is three-fourths of the first swing. And then you can already imagine what's going to happen. This will swing back, but it will cover a distance which is, which is again shorter than this. It's going to be three-fourths times three-fourths times 12. And for every swing thereafter, the distance covered by, this, by the pendulum is going to be shorter. So this is a descending sequence. Descending and a geometric sequence. So the first task is to find the distance covered by the pendulum on the eighth swing. This is like computing for a sub n. It is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So n is 8, r is a 3 fourths, and our first term is 12. So let us just apply our formula. So a sub 8 is equal to 12 times 3 fourths raised to 7. So you can use your calculator here. So it's going to be equal to 1.6 feet. The first distance swept by the pendulum is 12 feet. So we expect it to be shorter and shorter with each swing. And on the eighth swing, it's going to be 1.6 feet. Let us go to the second part of the problem. Find the total distance covered by the pendulum after eight swings. So this is the sum of the first eight terms of a geometric sequence. And this is how you obtain the sum. We proved this theorem. So we proved this theorem last time. So let us apply it to this problem. So this is just direct substitution. Although I hope that your teachers will not, will not require you to manually compute for this. So Maybe a problem like this can be given as a problem set. Something like a take-home exam or a problem set that you have to work during the weekend. I would not expect students to manually compute for this. In fact, when I computed for this, I used a calculator, if I'm not mistaken. So the accumulated distance or the total distance covered by the pendulum after the eighth swing is... 43.19 feet. And you know what? I opened an Excel. I opened an Excel just to verify. Just to verify if we did it correctly. This is the index. This one is the ith term. This is the first term. This second, the third, so on and so forth. This is the eighth. 
And in fact, this is what we got from our computation, 1.6 feet. So this is a descending sequence, a descending geometric sequence. How about the, the cumulative sum? The sum of the first n terms, okay? So, of course, the first sum is going to be 12. The sum of the first two terms is 12 plus 9. Okay, so that's 21. The sum of the first three terms is going to be 21 plus 6.75, and that is 27.75. You know what? I don't know if you know how to use Excel, but we shall make a detour. From pre-cal and geometric sequence, let us go to Excel. If I am not mistaken, you have a subject in ICT. It's an elective, if I'm not mistaken, that you studied way back in junior high school. So this is a spreadsheet. And one of the popular uh, software out there is Excel. This is a product of Microsoft Corporation. Okay. So I will show you how to produce that table of values using Excel. Okay, so this is our index, I. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so how do you write the terms? How do you compute for the terms? Well, look at what I will do. So our first term is 12 times. Okay, so that's the symbol for times. And then three-fourths. Three-fourths is 0.75. Okay, so you, you should be familiar with those fractions. Right away, you must, you must be able to recognize their equivalent uh, form in decimal number. Okay, three-fourths is 0.75. Now, raise to, raise to I. I is the index. Let us put that in parentheses. Raise to I. Okay, but I is... A2. Look at that. So we will copy this. So A2. A2 minus 1. Okay, so our expected answer here should be 12. Okay, we got it. It's 12. Okay, so how do you produce uh, the individual terms after the first term? Copy and paste. Okay, so that's it. And look at that. That was what we obtained from our computation. The eighth term or the distance covered by the pendulum after the eighth swing is 1.6 feet. Look at that. That's 1.6 feet. Okay, so let us now compute for the cumulative sum. The cumulative sum will tell you the sum of the uh, first consecutive n terms of the geometric sequence. Okay, so I will just write here 12. And then the cumulative sum or the sum of the first n terms. So the sum of these first two terms is going to be, look at that. So that is C2. Okay, C2. Okay, C, and then 2. Okay, look at that. L look at those uh, numbers. Okay, C2 plus, okay, the second term. This is B3. Okay, B3. Okay, plus B3. Now, what do I do next? Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Okay. So this is what we got from our computation. 43.1 feet. Let us check. Let us check. Okay, that's it. 43.19 feet. So you can use Excel to verify your computations, especially when you are working with sequence.